Well, well, well. Everything keeps coming out. More prehistoric planet 2 stuff. And, um, yeah, lots is, a, lot of, a lot of stuff has been happening with Prehistoric Planet 2. It's imminent release in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, about uh, 10 or so days. Um, well, 12 days. There we go. <laughs> 12 days. Um, at least from me recording this video. Um, yeah, I, I need to learn how to count. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so in 12 days' time, Prehistoric Planet 2 will be hitting your screens, if you have Apple TV+, Plus, of course. But um, I want to go through every species that is currently confirmed and has been shown to be in the second season. So let's start with Islands. So Islands is the first episode covering islands from all around the world. So... We of course start with the Hatsagopteryx, our large as dark a pterosaur of Hatsag Island. Um, brilliant colours on the male and love the sexual dimorphism between the male and the female. You can really tell them apart. Next species is Majungasaurus, the Abelosaurid apex predator of Madagascar. Um, making its debut with its random assortment of um, bumps on its back and its single horn on its head. Moving on to Simosuchus, the pug-nosed crocodilian that did eat, eat plants. And um, in one of the teasers, we do see the Majungasaurus and the Simosuchus going head to head, or should I say head to tail, because the Simosuchus looks like it's whipping its, whipping its tail a bit to antagonize the Majungasaurus. We also have Adolotherium, the Madagascan um, mammal not much to say really um we go to antarctica and snow hill island for impero beta and um whatever is trinosaura or morosaurus it, it could be either of the two these were two um ornithopod um hypsilophodont dinosaurs uh from the snow hill formation so it could be either of them uh then tethys hadros um, this seems like it would be an island thing because um, Tethys Hadros was found on islands as much of Europe was made up of islands during the Cretaceous period. And we also have Zalmoxes, the last of a very ancient line of dinosaurs. Moving on to the second episode, Badlands, the dry areas of our planet and some of the harsher areas of the planet. Starting with the sauropods, we have Mongolian Titan from last season, the mostly unnamed sauropod as um it well has no name <laughs> other than mongolian titan we also have nemectosaurus returning they were both seen in a in um a scene where the, a herd mixed of both of them walking through a canyon so both of them are coexisting in a herd of some kind but they are both returning so they are both confirmed we have Isisaurus, the Indian sauropod, um, venturing into volcanic lands to lay their eggs. We also have Rajasaurus, the um, predator that will be hunting young um, Isisaurus in this volcanic landscape with its rather molten coloration. We of course have Tartia, um, the Mongolian ankylosaur, as well as Prenocephaly. A Central Asian Pachycephalosaurid, Velociraptor, no introduction is needed, Carithoraptor making its return from season one, um, where it was seen in forests, so no wonder what, I have no idea why it's um, out in the desert, but um, it is, I mean there, could, there are other Oviraptorids to choose from, right? There are Vincenia, um, Nemecto, something um <laughs> but yeah caritha after returning isn't a bad thing I, I love its colors another returning face is tarbosaurus as i suspected um so tarbosaurus is making its return as the apex predator of the mongolian desert moving on to swamps episode three we have rapetosaurus the madagascan sauropod being spooked by beelzebufo the devil toad and one of the largest frogs ever discovered. 
We have Ostroraptor from South America, a Dromaeosaur that um, has a very unique look, I would say. Yeah, it has its own quirks, like being Episcopal is certainly a talking point. We also have Pachycephalosaurus seen in it, all its different forms, because we have the normal ones in the back, well, the conventional Pachycephalosaurus looks in the back, and the Stiggy Moloch stage Pachycephalosaurus um, fighting in the middle. Mashikasaurus is also returning, another species of Madagascar. Um, and yeah, I, I was, I'm happy to see this guy return. It was cool seeing it in um, Season 1. It was a nice surprise. Edmontosaurus also making its return, as it was featured in two episodes last season. Um, two or three? I think it was just two, Ice Worlds and Forests. Um, but yeah, it's making its grand return. Also, the Asian Asdarkid, um, at least I believe it's, a, a, it looks like it in a short teaser that was released re recently. Um, yeah, so whether these guys are returning or not, I, I think they are, like there's many of them. <laughs> but we also have a mystery crocodilian um, to speculate on what it is until release. So um, this was teased in one of the um, short ads that was, I think it was stream ads um i believe like as it happened between streams yet yeah, yeah, you know the drill um and two that two of these ads confirmed tarbosaurus critharaptor this mystery crocodilian mashikasaurus um they showed a bunch of new footage and um yeah looking forward to seeing another crocodilian added to the prehistoric planet roster now moving on to oceans we have a mystery mosasaur, which I am starting to think is possibly Halosaurus, a, a smaller mosasaurid that um, is thought to have dwelled in shallow waters. Here it looks like it's dwelling in some sort of underwater caves. Um, we have Zarathosaurus, the plesiosaurid um, that is seen to possibly be eaten by the mosasaurus. Um, we have Hesperornis, the seagoing bird. Zephactinus. A large bony fish of the late Cretaceous. Um, Mortineria, the Antarctic plesiosaur. Uh, several ammonites, like I know one's baculites, because look at that. <laughs> look at those long shells. But there is a whole variety of ammonites that we're going to be seeing in season two. And yeah, that is going to be interesting to see. Like, are they going to get named? Who knows, but there are some that we can possibly identify. Uh, Mosasaurus, of course, making its return. The apex predator of the entire planet um, at, the, at this time. So it makes sense for it to return. And finishing off, we have North America. So the only non-biome episode in the series. We have Alamosaurus, the largest animal in North America at this time. And, well, for... For the rest of time because nothing was ever going to get bigger after the KT event. Um, we also had the return of Triceratops, like of course, Triceratops has to return. Um, Pectinodon, a North American troodontid, uh, seen with its cute little babies here. And um, in the first trailer we got of season two, we saw the adult Pectinodon hunting Presbyornis, a long-legged duck relative, and um, that was last seen. In the Paleocene, before mammals really started to take over the world. We also had the return of Nanoxaurus, the Arctic Tyrannosaur from Season 1. As well as Ornithomimus, um, also seen in Ice Worlds in Season 1. The only Ornithomimid we got, and maybe we still get. I don't, I don't know, Gallimimus could make an appearance, but Ornithomimus is good enough for now, right? Um, we have Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course, returning. Getting a bit more colour variation. These two look very different. Maybe they're different ages because there's a hump on the top of their head, like the crest of the skull. And um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it could be a hump on the head, but um, it's greatly reduced in the individual on the right compared to the one on the left. And we also have Quetzalcoatlus. So um, that is all. All the species so far that are confirmed to show up in season two. Um, let me know if you think I've missed any. 
um, out of any of the trailers. I did skim through them, but I hope I didn't miss any. Um, but there is potential that there are plenty more surprises in store, as there were plenty of surprises in Season 1. Like, I wasn't ex expecting Mashikasaurus, for one. Ostra Poseidon was also a surprise to me. Um, Atrociraptor was a big surprise. Um, Anodontosaurus was kept from the trailers. And, um, yeah, there are plenty more species that could possibly show up. But if you're happy with the roster that we got, um, yeah. Anyway, um, that is all for now. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you when Prehistoric Plant 2 releases, perhaps. I mean, unless something else comes up in, in between that time. Uh, I've got the builds to do. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.